Hello, happy Friday. Welcome to a quick um, screencast on how to download the Canvas app to your phone. In the example, I'm using a Android phone, but you can do this on an Apple as well. Just find your store. In Android, it's the Play Store. I forget what it's called on Apple. And then you just want to search for and structure Canvas. And you'll see that you have several choice, choices. You want to make sure that you're getting the one that is made by Instructure. So it's the red one here on top. And you'll go ahead and click on that and then click the Install button. Then you have to approve or accept the permissions and then it'll be downloading. Okay, so now that it's installed, you can click the Open button to get started using the app. Okay, so next you'll be prompted to find your school. This is new, so if you've done this in the past, you were able to just type in the URL. But right now, let's go ahead and type in Maricopa, because that's going to find our district for us. So here you can see it pops up Maricopa Community Colleges. So if I go ahead and click on that, it takes me directly to the right URL, which is maricopa.instructure.com. Many of you may not know that email or that URL but that is the real address to our Canvas site. So what you're going to do now is type in your MEID and your password and you'll be logged in. Alright, so now let's hope I type that in correctly and I'm going to hit the login button and it's going to log me in. Alright, so what it's doing next is it's asking, uh, requesting access to your account. So you have to give it access to your account. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes and I want it also to remember my authorization so the next time I log in it'll be okay so I hit login yes I'm giving access to my account and now what you'll be presented with is a list of your courses so these are all of the courses that you are in this semester and you can scroll through them to get into them but you can also see that across the top you have notifications a to-do list and even messages Ooh, I have a message so I'm going to go into a class and what you'll see is the home page. You can see that you're automatically on a tab. So you can see the home page. So this is my African American Lit class. And if I wanted to go to somewhere else in the class, just like your left hand menu in Canvas, you will see the same options here. So you can see your grades, you can see the discussions, the modules, and so forth right from that drop down menu. So I'm going to go ahead and go into modules since that's where most of us will get started. And right now my class is in Module 2, Slavery Error. So I can see that I have some items that I need to view, and then there are some assignments that I can do as well. So you can do pretty much everything in here, but there are some things that you won't be able to do. So in this example, you see that there is a grayed out play button because there was a lecture here from the instructor. Oh, from me. Um, all you have to do if you want to listen to that content is click the button and it will just open it up in a different window and then it will still play but it won't play right from that window where you were before okay and you can always hit the back arrow to go back and again the back arrow to go back to modules and so forth okay so that should help you get started with canvas and being able to keep up to date with all the things that are going on in your class don't forget your to-do list. It tells you what you have to do and that's coming up and the due dates and so forth. And then, of course, any messages that you have from your teachers. All right, good luck. Have a great semester.